welcome back. Today we're gonna open one of my favorite Marbles characters. This is Marble Select Wolverine. So let's have a look. Card is not in the greatest shape, but that is fine because I'm gonna open it anyway. And I love this artwork right here. Now this one comes with a stand. Okay. Yeah, let's open it up. I might want to see this card later on, so I'm gonna be try. I'm gonna try to be careful as much as I can. That's not gonna work. That's not bad. I can still display it. I got this inside. More marble select characters. Well, let's go back to Wolverine himself. scope is fine really good and I'm for a while I've been looking for this classic look of a Wolverine okay let us free this guy now take it out And here it comes. Look at this guy. Very sharp. So you can move the arms sideways this is great because you know he's always in the attack mode then you can bend the elbows right here it's not the greatest i'm afraid i'm gonna break it but it's not and then you can twist this arm this is just made of rubber it doesn't retract or anything like that the hands doesn't do anything it doesn't open or anything like that again you can bend the elbows you can rotate the arms there's no waist rotation in this thing and yeah you can let him like this up to a certain point and oh yeah you can only do this you can twist it you got the knee you can bend the knee much as a little bit more than 90 degrees and There's a little bit movement that you can do. Oh, it's not little, it's a lot. You can do with the feet, 
not sideways though and you can't rotate it Over, overall I am fine with this I mean looks good the sculpt that I want the color that I want and let me see how tall is this thing so this is about seven inch not bad so this is a seven inch figure let's see how it stocks up with the uh, one of my batman As you can see, Batman is taller, which is fine because Wolverine is about, you know, just above five, five foot. And Batman is about six, two, something like that. So he shouldn't be that tall. So this is good with scale. Take a look at the stand. As you can see, this one goes to the back. I get some accessories in here. Pull it out. So let's put it in here. You got the helmet they don't come off oh they do okay so you can actually change his head to this one let me see I hope I'm right that you can actually take this off otherwise this thing is broken there you go and then you can put the same that's a little bit scary no you can't holy crap it's a good thing so I don't know what I put it in and you can't actually change it I'm glad I didn't break it and this is hard to put back Do not do that holy crap this thing is such a pain to put back on I couldn't put it back on until I use a heat gun so don't remove it now this ones are accessories for display and that's about it they're accessories for display and you can stand him right here or however pose you want it to be and now I got here the Hulk. Of course, this is for well, Hulk, not Hulk. Hulk versus Wolverine or Wolverine versus the Hulk. The Hulk stands about seven to eight inches, um, not inches, feet tall. And this guy right here is just about five, five feet. So the scale is pretty good. And that's why I like it. I finally took the step and bought my first Wolverine. Again, here you go. Look at that face. This one. Imagine if this thing could retract, right? So you press something in here, this thing retracts. That would be so awesome. I mean, I probably buy it even if it's hundred bucks or something like that. If it retracts, there you go. Classic Wolverine, Hulk smash. Dish, dish. Anyway, <laughs> again, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you on my next video. Bub.